Hi to all, my name is Zai. Played Quake for over 17 years, so this review is mostly based on FPS experience. Comparison review between the Myonix Castor and Steel Series Rival 300. They both have the 3310 sensor, which is outstanding. They both have a rubber coat if you get the black version of the Rival. I have the white, obviously, and that's glossy plastic. They both have decent customization through the software, but check my other reviews to see that. They're both RGB with a lit scroll wheel and back logo and both can rattle, possibly the lens, but most people have reported no rattle on the castor and only a few on the rival. I think the biggest differences are in the shape. So I'd recommend the rival for medium hands if you're using claw and palm grip, and for large hands or grips, but really big hands might find it a bit narrow. See underneath, you can see that the grip width on the rival is only 5.5 centimeters, that's quite thin. The back is quite wide though, but you don't really feel that because look where your fingers are actually gripping the mouse. If you're gripping it back here, then it would feel really wide. Still, you can tell that it is wide at the back when you're holding it. But because of that grip width, even though it's 13 centimeters long, it actually doesn't feel like that big a mouse. And that's good for me because I feel like I can aim better with it. The caster has a narrow base too, although it is a bit deceptive. I think it's closer to 6 centimeters, although it looks about 5.5 as well, more like 5.7, and it's about 12 centimeters long on the base. The problem with the castor is its shape. It has these finger grooves on the side, which forces you to place your fingers right on them. And not everyone places their fingers there. In fact, in claw grip, you'd actually have your fingers a bit more vertical, depending how you actually do hold the mouse. But for medium to large hands, trying to fingertip grip, they're not too bad. The other thing that bothers me is the ledge. It's this really big extended area over on the side of the mouse. I'm just trying to show you the general shape of it. And I just find that uncomfortable. It makes it feel like the mouse is unbalanced. After the review, I actually played for an extra two days with it. And I just found like my hand was actually not liking just being on it. While it's a very good feeling mouse with good textures, the shape doesn't agree with me and I don't seem to be able to get used to it. But there are many people who love it, so if you think that's okay, then by all means consider it an option. It is a great mouse. You'll also notice that it's a bit lower than the other mice. It stands at about 3.5 centimeters, whereas others are 4 centimeters, like the Death Adder, and even the Rival and Rival 300. So the right side isn't as safe as it seems, and the left side has a big ledge. However, it does have really nice grooves in the bottoms, so when your hand first goes on this mouse, it feels amazing. I think this mouse would appeal to me more if it just had flatter sides on both. As for the rival, it's a very safe shape on the right and quite a safe shape still on the left. There is a slight groove in there, but I find that quite comfortable. The Steel Series opted for the smooth rubber cable on this one, and I just find it to be a bit better on pads. If you listen to the Castor's braided cable, While it's fairly smooth, it does have a bit of a roughness to it, and that's why I'm moving away from these braided cables now. I actually do find these other ones better. The rifle cable does seem to hold its shape well, but I tend to use that to my advantage using some blue tack. So for me, that's a hassle-free cable. I haven't had a problem with the Castor's cable either. They're both quite good. Weight-wise, with just a little bit of cable, the minus Castor is 97 grams, and the rifle weighs 104 grams. They're using the same sensor, so there's no point really commenting on that, other than the implementation of that sensor, and I can't find the difference yet. So if you can find a difference, please let me know and I'll do more testing. But for now, in my view, they're the same. So I think I can aim better with the rival, therefore I'd probably choose that as my main mouse. And I also prefer the shape because it does feel more balanced. I do like the textures of the castor, but I don't play quite as well with it. Still very good, but not to the standard that I want. And as I said in my review, I actually prefer the EC2A. In fact, I prefer the EC2A over both these mice. I definitely prefer the castor grooves in the bottoms, but still series just flat plastic approach isn't too bad either. So neither of these mice are actually my mouse of choice, but if I had to choose one, I would be going the rival. I've got an 18.5 centimeter hand, nine centimeters from thumb over to the knuckle of the little finger, and that just seems to suit me better. But I think you should base your purchase on shape and on what games you're playing. For MOBA, I'd probably be more inclined to go with the Castor, but for first person shooters, I'd be more into the Rival. Again though, it depends on your personal preference. I think the Rival is going to be the safer option because of the shape of the Castor, but again, they're both very good. 
easily in my top 10, and the decision is going to be up to you. A lot of people love the rival, and a lot of people love the Castor. Which one is for you? Hope that helps, I'll leave the links on screen to the two reviews of these mice, and if you want to purchase either, I'll put some Amazon links in the description for you. And make sure you check out the website and its Find a Mouse feature if you're looking for recommendations. So thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, questions or comments leave them below, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next.